Hi everyone! So today we will have our new lesson for the third quarter and our first lesson is about visualizing percent and identifying the rate, base, and percentage. Let's watch this. everyone so today we will have our first lesson in the third quarter so which is the visualizing percent and identifying base rate and percentage when do we usually encounter or hear the word percent sa ba nating karaniwan nakikita or naririnig ang salitang percent so number one when we have our empty bat so, sinasabi natin, 10% we need to charge sa so, cell phone. What else? Pwede rin naman, kapag mga sale sa mga mall, yung mga SM, ito lang, 3-day sale, 50% off. So, ibig sabihin, kapag may mga percentage, may mga less ang babayaran natin. Pwede rin naman, kapag sa grades, di ba natin, nakukuha natin or ginigrade ang isang learner, percentage. Let us study the illustration. So, kung makikita natin yan, meron tayong mga small squares. So, how many small squares are there? So, kung bibilangin natin yan, horizontal and vertical, tigten yan. So, 10 times 10 equals 100 squares. So, why do you think there are 100 squares? Because we will visualize the percent. So, percent kasi, percent means 100. So, meron tayong 100 squares. So, let us count. How many are shaded parts? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, we have 7 shaded parts. So, meaning, kung isasabihin natin to into percent, since by 100 ang percent, 7 percent lang ang shaded part. How about how many are unshaded? So, kung 7 ang shaded, isa-subtract natin, 100 minus 7 equals 93%. So, if you are going to answer this into ratio, fraction, decimal, and percent, shaded part natin ay 7 is to 100. So, pag nagawa natin yung fraction, di ba, ang ratio and fraction, iisa, they are the same kapag sinulat lang magkaiba, so 7 over 100. 7 over 100, hindi na yung kailangan i-lowest term. Next, decimal. So, since over 100 na yan, so 7 hundreds. Ayan. 7 hundreds. Okay. 7 hundreds, 0 0.07 hundreds, please, sa tayo. Pwede rin naman yan, kung hindi one, over 100 yan, i-divide natin yan. Pero since over 100, susulat natin yan as 7 hundreds. Then, into percent, 7 percent. So, bakit hindi 0.7%? Kapag ang 0.07, dahil percent sign yan, ta-times natin sa 100, mumubo lang natin, ang shortcut yan, move natin going to the right. 1, 2. So, yung tulo, instead of decimal point, percent sign yung lalagay natin. How about unshaded part? So, 7 and shaded, so ang atin ay 93 is to 100. Then, 93 over 100. So, decimal natin, 93 hundreds. And in the percent sign, 93 percent. Ganun lang, kasimple. So, from the learning task, we will use the pictures. Then, we will give the ratio of the shaded parts. After giving the ratio, change natin to into fractions, decimal, and percent. Ayan. So, number 1 lang ang gagawin natin. So, ang shaded part natin, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 84. So, 84 is to 100. So, gagawin natin yung fraction, 84 over 100. So, kung, since 80 is 200 yan, ang percent natin, 84%. So, yung 84% or 8400s magiging 
84, uh, 84 hundreds. O, kayo na yung magtuloy ng 2 and 3. Now, let us try to visualize percent in solving word problem. Veronica and Ron earned 100 pesos for selling face masks. They gave their mother 80 pesos and put 20 pesos in their coin bank. What percent of their earnings did they give to their mother? What percent do they, did they have? So, si Veronica and si Ron ay kumita ng isang daan sa pagtitinda ng face mask. So, 80 ang pumunta sa nanay niya, 20 inilagay or sinave nila. So, what percent of their earnings? Magkano yung napunta na porsyento sa nanay niya at magkano naman ang napunta sa kanila? So, kung i-drawing natin to or visualize so yung shaded part, that is the given part sa nanay niya. So, yung isang buo, ito yung kinita nila. So, how many are shaded part? So, masasabi natin ang shaded part ay 80% for 80 or kapag binasa natin yan, 80%. At yung unshaded naman, or yung hindi natin na shade yung kulay white, ay 20% or 20%. So, from the given natin na problem, what is percent? So, we can say that percent is a spatial ratio that compares a certain number to 100. It is ratio whose meaning is similar to fraction with the denominator of 100. So, automatic yon pag percent over 100. It means hundreds. So, it can be written as decimal and the decimal in hundreds can be expressed as a percent. A short way to change a fraction with denominator of 100 into decimal is to write numerator and put the decimal point into two places from the right. Percent is to write the, in the numerator together with the percent sign. So this time you will know how to define percentage rate or percent in base. So tingnan naman natin tong problem na to. Identify naman natin dito ang percentage rate and the base. In the class of Miss May, she divided her students into eight groups. She asked the groups to select a leader. Among the fruits presented, two groups chose papaya as their favorite fruit. Have you seen a papaya fruit or tree? So, ito papaya tree. So, meron mga bunga. So, and ito naman yung papaya fruit. So, kinakain natin yung papaya fruit. So, mahal, maganda yan sa katawan for good digestion, di ba? So. so, now let us analyze the problem so that we'll clearly find the base, the rate, and the percentage in the given problem. So, kung kukunin natin ang ratio ng total number of groups to the number of groups who chose papaya, so alam natin ang total number of groups is 8. And ang pumili ng papaya ay 2. So, kung gagawin natin to into ratio, 8 is to 2. So, and 8 is to 2, kapag fraction is 8 over 2. So, pwede natin yung isulat ng 8 over 2. So, kukunin naman natin ang percent. Ang kukunin natin yung percent ng pumili sa papaya. So, hindi pwedeng 8 divided by 2. Kaya, ang gagawin natin ay 2 divided by 8. So, equals 25 hundredths. How? So, dinivide natin yung 2 divided by 8. Ayan. 2 divided by 8 equals 0. So, 0. So, 2. Write decimal point. Then, 0. Bring down 0. 20 divided by 8 equals 2. 2 times 8 equals 16. 20 minus 16 equals 4. Add 0 again. So, 0. 40 divided by 8 equals 5. So, 5 times 8 equals 40. 4 minus 40 minus 40 equals 0. So, kaya naging 2,500s. So, kapag chininch natin itong 2,500s into percent, so magiging 25%. Since by hundreds yan, imumove lang natin yung decimal point going to the right. Alam naman natin, ang 100 may dalawang zero. So, move natin ang dalawa. 1, 2. So, instead of decimal point, linilagay natin ang, des ang percent sign. Kaya naging 25%. So, we can write 25% of 8 is 2. So, yun yung equation natin. 
25% of A is 2. We have three elements here. The rate, the base, and the percentage. Ano yung dyan ang rate, ang base, at ang percentage? So, 25% of 8 is 2. Yung 25%, that is the rate. So, tandaan natin. Kapag sinabing rate, meron lagi yan na percent sign. Yun lagi, yun lagi natin tatandaan kapag percent or rate. Then, 8. What is 8? So, 8 is the base. Kapag sinabi nating base, siya yung kabuuan ng number. So, ibig sabihin, mas malaki lagi siya sa percentage. So, 2 is the percentage. Percentage is only part of the base. Kailan lang magiging mas malaki? Ang base, laging meron yung kadugsong ng percent of. Yan. Kailan lang magiging mas malaki ang percentage sa base? Kapag ang rate ay more than 100. So, the relationship among the three is rate times base equals percentage or percentage equals rate times base. Kaya yung off na sinasabi, yun yung times. So, 25% is the rate. Ayan, it has it is given as a percent. Yun yung lagi natin tatandaan kapag sinabi natin rate. It can be expressed as ratio or fraction. 8 naman, yung kanina natin given, is called the base. It is a whole number of which you take the percent. Yun ang kinukuha, pinagkukuna ng percent. At yung magiging sagot is the percentage, meaning a part of the whole. So bahagi lang siya. It is the resulting fractional part of the base. From our learning task, let us identify the base, the rate, and the percentage in the given problem. So, there are 30, 36 fruits in a basket. 18 of them are mangoes. 50% of them are mangoes. So, kung alamin natin, we have three numbers, the 36, 18, and 50%. So, automatic, yung may percent, it is the rate. So, 50%. 36 and 18, alin na mas malaki so, mas malaki ang 36. So, this is the base. Then, 18, ito yung percentage. Kung pagkukunin natin yan, kapag sinulat natin yan, 50% of 36 is 18. So, rate times base equals percentage. Ayan. Next, number 2. Nico deposited, de deposited 500 pesos in the bank at 9% interest a year. He earns 40 pay, 45 pesos in a year. So, 500, 9%, and 45 pesos. So, ang base natin, mas malaki, so 500 pesos. Ang rate natin ay 9%. And the percentage is 45 yeah. I hope you can follow. So, pag ginawa natin to into equation, so, 9% of 500 is 45 pesos. So, yung number 3 and the rest, ay pwede nyo na lang sagutan. In our learning task 5, so data collecting data tayo. Carlo interviewed 100 of his friends on their most viewed TV, prog TV program. The table show below shows the number of interviewees who chose among any of the four programs. What will you do is to express the value in fraction, decimals, percent, and ratio form. So, in star, star struck yung TV program na isa. Number of friends na nag-vote ay 16. Kung ang 100 ang kanyang in-interview, so magiging 16 ang fraction niya, 16 over 100. As we all know, 16 over 100 can be divided by 4 or the GCF is 4. So, magiging 4 over 25. So, hindi pa rin yan magbabago kapag naging decimal. So, doon tayo magbibase sa 16 over 100. So, magiging 16 hundreds. So, by percent, so yung percent yan, 16%. And the ratio, kung nakuha na natin yung fraction of 4 over 25, yun ang ibibigay natin yung ratio, yung uh, lowest term. So, 
kayo na magtuloy sa Itbulaga at MPK. And our reference for today's lesson, so learner's packet of Pivot for a Grade 5 Mathematics, 3rd Quarter, Week 1. Thank you for watching. Thank you, my dear Road to 1000 subscribers. I am your teacher, Karen, and don't forget.